There are so many key items, but did you know that most of them are absolutely useless? Let's make sure that you focus on the most important ones first. Junimo chests are strange, they cost 15 key gems each and they almost work the same way that ender chests work in Minecraft. Every single Junimo chest shares the same inventory, the problem is that these chests only have 9 slots. To be honest, these are not as important as some of the other things on this list. The best use I can think of for these is to place your catalogs in them so that you can easily access them on both of your farms. Let me know what you use your Junimo chests for in the comments comments below. The horse flute on the other hand is absolutely incredible. It is very expensive at 50 key gems but it can be worth it. When you use the horse flute your horse will magically appear before you. It seems insignificant if you use it in the valley but do not forget that this works in the desert and most importantly it works on ginger island. Don't be slow, this is how you avoid being slow. Pierre's missing stock list is a very interesting one. This will cause Mr. Pierre to sell all of the seeds all year round but at a higher price when it is out of season. This is kind of useful since we can grow any crop no matter the season on our ginger island farm however it's not as useful as some of the other things that you can buy. This can help you get perfection quicker if that is something that you want. You can purchase individual hoppers for 10 key gems or you can buy the recipe for 50 key gems. The hopper is a device that can place an item into a processing machine for you. That sounds amazing right? Well prepare to be let down because that's all it does. It places an item into a processing machine for you but it cannot take an item out of the machine once it has completed its processing. Meaning that for it to work you will need to manually take the items out once they are complete. Unfortunately, there is no full automation in Stardew Valley. The only good use for the hopper is to fill it with fishing tackle, as fishing tackle cannot stack and then place a deconstructor in front of it. What is a deconstructor? Glad you asked, you can buy the deconstructor for 20 key gems each and you will most definitely want many of these. The deconstructor takes an item and destroys it. Fortunately it reclaims some of the resources that were used to craft up the item. I know this sounds useless but it works on items that you can buy with gold, thereby allowing you to easily trade gold for resources that you would otherwise need to grind for. It's absolutely incredible, here is a list of the best things that you can easily obtain and deconstruct for resources. Staircases into 99 stone, fiber starters into 10 fiber, hoppers into radioactive ore, cork bubbles into hard wood just to name a few. It's an amazing item. We now have access to two sprinkler upgrades and they are not made equally. Both of them can be bought for 20 key gems and you will get four of them per purchase. The first upgrade is called the enricher. This one is absolutely useless. Why? Because the enricher will allow you to place fertilizer in into your sprinkler and when you plant a seed within the range of the sprinkler then the fertilizer will automatically be applied. The other upgrade is not the same, it's amazing, the pressure nozzle. This thing will increase the range of any sprinkler by one tile. This is a normal sprinkler's range, this is an upgraded sprinkler's range. Look at it, it's amazing. Do not waste your key gems on enriches, buy pressure nozzles instead. The key to the town costs 20 key gems and is most definitely worth it. This little skeleton key will allow you to enter anyone's home no matter what time it is. This only sounds good for gift giving but it has real uses. This key will allow you to sometimes gain access to stores earlier than usual like Clint and Pierre for example. Plus it can be fun to stare at your enemies as they try to sleep. Galaxy souls are really important, you need these if you want to upgrade your regular boring galaxy weapon into an infinity weapon. The only problem is that you need 3 of these to actually upgrade your weapon. At 40 key gems each, that is a massive 120 key gems. Do not buy them from Mr. Key, save your gems, instead grind out in the dangerous mines for radioactive ore. Turn those into bars and trade those radioactive bars for key gems at the island trader on the last day of any season. That is what I always do. 
Do you remember waking up and randomly seeing a mushroom tree on your farm and thinking how lucky you were? Yeah, that was awesome. Well, it doesn't matter anymore because we can now buy mushroom tree seeds for the low cost of 5 key gems. This will allow you to place the mushroom tree exactly where you want it instead of it being somewhere random. Additionally, you can place tappers on your mushroom trees to produce mushrooms daily. I'm not sure why you would do that, but you can. Magic bait is incredible if you are as lazy as I am. You can buy 20 servings of magic bait from Mr. Key for 5 key gems or you can get the recipe for 20 key gems. This stuff will allow you to catch any fish no matter the season including the exclusive night market fish. Magic bait is great if you want to complete perfection quicker and are missing a fish or if you desperately need a specific fish for a cooked meal. Key seasoning is by far one of my favorite items that you can buy from Mr. Key. This stuff will increase the potency of buffs obtained from cooking food by one. It will also cause the buff to last longer. The only problem that this does not work on the speed stat, but everything else is free game. I love that this exists. Since the game does not have diminishing returns, you can get some really interesting results using key seasoning. Next we have the recipe to craft heavy tappers. These work exactly the same way as regular tappers. They just produce the tree saps twice as fast. I would not prioritize this as regular tappers are really cheap to craft and you could just plant double the trees for the same effect. However, you should never place heavy tappers on mahogany or on mushroom trees. They only take one day to produce their goods and the heavy tapper cannot reduce it to half a day. Crop enhancers are incredible, especially the two that you can buy from Mr. Key's store. First we have Hyper Speed Grow. The recipe costs 30 key gems and it is worth it. This stuff will cause all of your crops to grow 33% faster. That is not a small number, especially if you combine it with the agriculturist profession. Your crops will grow so much faster. Hyper Speed Grow is just a little bit difficult to craft. Next we have Deluxe Fertilizer and this costs 20 key gems. Finally, with the help of Deluxe Fertilizer and Buffed Up Farmer's Lunch, we can harvest Iridium quality crops. This was never possible until now. This has many useful applications such as growing high quality pineapples for healing or growing high quality sweet gem berries that sell for a ton of gold. Both of these crop enhancers are worth the effort. After you have purchased all of the most important things and if you have key gems left over then you can spend them on some of the decoration items that Mr. Key has for sale. You can buy this hat for 5 key gems, you can buy a massive fish tank for 20 key gems and you can buy an exotic double bed for a massive 50 key gems. I would only buy the fish tank because look at how massive this thing is, the rest are not worth it in my opinion. You saw how massive that fish tank was, well you need to watch this ultimate fishing guide so that you can perfectly catch the legendary fish and place them into that fish tank. Subscribe for more Stardew Valley videos but for now I will see you in the next video.